Hi everybody and welcome back to the Going For It Sim Studio. When I started this challenge a little over a year ago to attempt to break 80 for my very first ever round of golf outside by only learning on a golf simulator, I did that for a very specific reason because I've been following the golf simulator world for a really long time and I knew that at some point in my life this was going to be the only way that I was going to be able to get into the game of golf efficiently. So today we're going to talk about why you should also find some way to get some sort of golf simulator set up at your house. And I'm going to tell you exactly why I think that right now. Okay, so to start out, I want to give a little bit of background on why I mentioned that the only way I was actually going to get into this game was through golf simulator technology. And that's because I have a very, very busy life. Part of this challenge was kind of proving that you can learn the game of golf and still be incredibly busy because look, I mean, let's be honest, we're all busy from the start of the day until we go to sleep. And a lot of the times it's hard to fit in even basic exercise. So for me, I sell software, so I work from home. So I do save some of that commute time, but I work quite a bit. I'm always on my computer as needed. And if I need to do a little bit of prospecting, I open up my computer and I just work when I have the time that I need to be spending there. So I wake up at five. Now, I've always been an early riser, open my computer with my coffee, and I generally check my emails and kind of set up my day. And while I'm doing that, my two young kids are waking up and I'm getting them breakfast and getting them set up for their school day while my wife sleeps in a little bit. So then I go to work and I get all my work done and somewhere in there I need to fit in a bike ride. On top of that, I need to find some time to, I gotta pick the kids up, I need to make sure they get dinner, activities, and everything else that comes with the family. So after all that is done, there's gotta be golf in there somewhere. What a golf simulator allows me to do is put the time in to learn this game when that time becomes available and that could be in between sales calls for like a quick session, that could be very early in the morning before the kids wake up. It could be at night after the kids go to bed. On weekends, it's a little bit easier for me to find the time in the simulator, but all in all, what I'm gathering is I get all this practice and all this learning, not having to dedicate myself to a tea time and all the drive time it takes to get to the course and how long a round can absolutely take. So that's why I led straight to the golf simulator world. Now, so to answer the question here is, should I get a golf simulator? And my answer in that is absolutely. Now, the hard part is it's, it's hard to look at it and you go, I can't afford a golf simulator. They cost thousands and thousands of dollars. They absolutely can, but it's like anything else in the world, right? Like, can you afford a car? I mean, yeah, you could probably find a vehicle out there that no matter what your, your life is like, you're gonna be able to have some sort of possession there to get you from point A to point B. There are people in this world that can afford to do that driving a luxury car, right? I'm not that person, but they're out there and a lot of golf simulators can be that way, right? So just to knock that down right away, what's the price point? How much money do I have to spend? Look, the simulator technology has really come around and the price points are starting to come down lower and there's always a way for you to get in. In under $1,000, you can get a launch monitor that's gonna be the consistency you need to get into the game, if it's something you're looking to like I did, or progress your skills, right? It's you're gonna be able to have a way to do it. You know, next comes up is, but I don't have the room. I don't have all this empty space in my house. Hey, look, I didn't either, but I made it happen, right? And I think a lot of you, if you really wanna make something like this work out, you can totally find somewhere to do that. Now. A lot of folks, you may live in an older home, you've got an apartment, you know, there are some very uh, like situational spots that it's gonna become more difficult, but there's a way you can figure it out. I mean, you can literally go as basic as taking a hitting net and your laptop with you and your launch monitor and you can play golf simulation from anywhere. I mean, you could go to the park, you could do it in your yard, on your back deck, there's somewhere you're gonna be able to find time to practice, even if it's cold, you're gonna be able to be able to take little effort, find somewhere covered, and you're gonna be able to get some sort of golf swing in. You know, if you have a little bit of room in your house or wherever you're living in your garage, if you have room just to swing a club, you're already somewhere you need to be. You don't need to have this grand setup where you have an enclosure and grass putting, all this storage. You don't necessarily need that. 
It's really nice to have, and if you have that room, you can definitely work up to it. Start with the net and your laptop. And the launch monitor software connects to that and you're off and running. You know, sometimes you may not have the height that you need or the width to swing a driver and that's okay. You don't have to be able to hit every single one of your clubs. So you gotta be able to look at it like, what benefit are you gonna get out of this? Even if you just have to swing your irons because you're just out of the room or you have to do just wedges and like your short irons, you're still gonna get a benefit that's gonna grow your game and help your skill progress. The access to coaching that simulators offer is really, really nice to have. You know, yeah, it, there's no replacement for an in-person PGA professional, there's not. But when you utilize the, the coaches on Skillist for such a low price, it's almost like this maintenance dose that you're running on to make sure that your game is at least progressing a little bit throughout the year, especially in the off season when you can't even get to the course. And you know, if you're somebody who you are an avid golfer and you really want to progress those skills, you know, I get a lot of folks who tell me like, I would just never go into the simulator. I disagree with that. And you know, and I think if you had a setup at your house of some sort, you're gonna see that as the training aid that it actually is. It's not just a way for you to go jump on a virtual course and hit some balls. Because yeah, you're gonna score lower on a simulator and it's not necessarily gonna be this direct comparison to your game outside. But what you're gonna get there that you didn't have before is the ability to swing the golf club, work on your feel, work on your skills at home when you only have 20 minutes and you don't have to run to the course. Or like today, it was 80 degrees yesterday, today it's snowing in 35. Like that's really hard to do when you're starting to get into the golf season and now all of a sudden you have winter back. And so your skills aren't going where they need to get. So you kind of got to change your mindset on what a simulator could be used for. Now, how can it be used for somebody who wants, who's like me and they want to just get into the game of golf? They don't necessarily care about their score. Well, it's an entertainment piece that is worth every penny of investment and a little bit of DIY work to make it work out. The entertainment it provides you and your family and your friends, it's next level. It is a real life video game that you get to play with full motion. It's a great way to get into it. Think about Peloton, right? The most boring sport of exercise you could get is a stationary bike and they made it fun. This is exactly what golf simulation technology can do for you. And start small, right? Just get the bare minimum you need so that you can kind of understand firsthand like, wow, this is exactly what I need for my golf game. I'm enjoying the game a lot more because I get to play more frequently. And now rather than like a hobby, it's more of an activity that you get to do because you're able to play whenever you possibly can. And all of it gets better. You know, you really start to see your game improve. You have a lot of fun and just getting into the game, it opens up this level where you can learn enough about it that when you go to the golf course, your golf course time is gonna be really, really enjoyable. You know, and this is also a great way for you to get to know your golf clubs. You know, it's so easy to see the marketing and just buy all the newest stuff when you've never even gotten used to what you have. You know, what you've got in your bag, whatever you have, like start working on it. Avid golfers can use it to compare clubs and see the data in real time, just as if you were getting a golf fit, except this time you get to do it in the comfort of your own home. So there are so many ways for you to utilize golf technology as a brand new golfer, somebody who just wants to get into the game, an average golfer, your weekend warrior, or even your 100% avid golfers trying to shoot for scratch or better. There are so many benefits you're gonna get from golf technology. If you want something grand and you're looking for the best of the best, you gotta give the guys over at About Golf a call. They will get you set up with the best technology in the world. If you can't quite go that level, that's totally okay. The folks over at Carl's have a range from a very low budget all the way up to upper end budget, just like About Golf has. And what the folks at both will do is make sure to get a setup that's gonna work for your space. If you're running on a really tight space or you have questions of like, hey, how can I make this work in my space? The folks at Carl's are gonna make sure to get you the exact right stuff to get you golfing and give you the ability to grow into your setup if you've got that type of room. If you've got unlimited room or you're building a new house or you've got an expansion, something that you wanna build in and you want the best of the best, the About Golf guys are gonna make sure that you have the studio just like mine, where you are excited every single day to get out and play golf. Because I promise if you have simulator somewhere in your vicinity that you can go set up real quick and play, that you're never going to stop 
thinking about golf. It's wild. All you want to do is just get back out there and play some more. So get a setup for yourself. Uh, look, do yourself a favor this year. Don't go to the golf course as much. Still go a lot, but save a few of those tee times. Put some budget away. Get yourself set up with the very best training aid in the entire game of golf, and that is golf simulation technology. Whatever works for your budget. If you make that happen, I promise you're going to enjoy the game a heck of a lot more. You're going to be a lot better at the game if that's what you're looking to do or you're just looking to have a great time that's going to happen. Please like, follow, and subscribe. I'm going to continue to share my experiences, what I have learned throughout this entire year, and make sure to help more people play golf and change the way this game is learned and played. We'll see you next time.